in the midst of all the 1950s conformity and the draconian laws around cannabis use and harassment of minorities and jazz musicians, a new movement for freedom began to well up from the ranks of the downtrodden. Writers that connected with the freedom of expression in jazz improvisation, like Jack Kerouac and Allen Ginsberg, started using it as a model for their writing. They called themselves the Beat Generation. Tired of being beat down in the supposed land of the free, they took on the fight for artistic and personal freedom, starting in New York's Greenwich Village and expanding to San Francisco's North Beach. Iconic San Francisco columnist Herb Cain first called them Beatniks to connect these American freedom fighters with Sputnik and the Red Men. Popular culture portrayed them as caricatures of stoned out, beret wearing, bongo playing burnouts speaking gibberish. While the Beats were trying to take back America, Harry Anslinger was moving to take the world. We'll tell you about that in a minute. 